in the second year today we are going to discuss experiment 2.3 which is the glucose tolerance test the glucose tolerance test or the OGTT or the oil glucose tolerance test may use the body's ability to metabolize glucose or the clear uh, how much it time uh, how much time it needs to clear it out of the bloodstream the test is used to diagnose diabetes gestational diabetes or pre diabetic condition it is usually done when the patient is pregnant and has gestational diabetes between 24 to 28 weeks pregnant uh, pregnant if the patient's fasting blood glucose is between 120 and 126 which is pre diabetic condition or if the 2 hours postprandial glucose is between 140 to 200 milligram per deciliter for this you have to prepare the patient beforehand before you can test the patient patient uh, there are few criteria that the patient should fulfill which are that the patient should be healthy the patient should not have any fever acute illness or trauma for at least 2 weeks prior to the test patient should be on a diet containing at least 150 gram of carbohydrate per day for at least 3 days and any drug that might interfere with blood glucose should be discontinued three days prior to the test. The hypoglycemic drugs, the, for example, insulin, should be discontinued on the day of the test. The time of the test should be between 7 to 9 when the patient wakes up. And the patient should be in a fasting state of 10 to 12 hours before the test it can be done and not longer than 16 hours. Tea and coffee consumption should be decreased on that day and no physical exercise is allowed during the test. Patients should be seated quietly and relaxed 30 minutes before the test. The procedure to perform the test is that a zero time or the baseline fasting blood sample should be taken. Patient is given a measured dose of glucose to drink within a 5 minute time frame. Glucose load for non-pregnant adults are 75 gram per deciliter and for children it is 1.75 grams per kilogram of their body weight. A total of 5 specimens of venous blood are collected every half hour after the intake of glucose and all the 6 feedings that were taken including the zero 01, zero time or the fasting one are plotted and to make a glucose tolerance curve. The test reveals how quickly glucose is metabolized from bloodstream for use by cells as an energy source. A patient is said to be having impaired glucose tolerance in three conditions if three conditions are fulfilled. First, if that the fasting blood glucose, plasma glucose level are more than 100 to 126 milligram per deciliter. Intermediate OGTT sample are above 200 milligram per deciliter. Or the two hour OGTT sample is between 140 to 190 milligram per deciliter. This is a table in which the normal values and the criteria for the impaired fasting glycemia or impaired glucose tolerance are, may, uh, are shown. For example, the normal fasting glucose should be less than 110 and if the patient is has like 8, 2 hours before the test, it should be less than 140. If uh, the levels are between 110 and 125, we, are, we we say that the patient is having impaired fasting glycemia and the same is for two hours is less than 140. In fasting, if it's more than 126 or after two hours, it's 140 to 199 milligram per deciliter, we say that the patient has impaired glucose tolerance. And after, if the patient is fasting and the value is more than 126 and um, after two hours, it's more than 200, we say the patient is has diabetes mellitus. These are the criteria for these terms. The disadvantage of the OGTT test is that the test is time consuming, is complicated than fasting blood glucose test and the patient may feel nauseated or lightheaded or might faint after drinking the high level of glucose which are needed at the start of the test.